Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I'm trying to solve one of the major problem that why the student are not being selected for any program even though they prepare the documents very well and they also fulfill all the eligibility criteria. But in the last when they come to know that they are not selected for that program it's really disappointing. So in today's video, I will discuss why these kind of thing happens to students. This is because they do not bother themselves to check the available position in the particular research unit or in the particular program they are, they are trying to apply. So they are just wasting their time without knowing that there is no any position available in that particular unit. So in today's video, I will discuss about the OS PhD program and how you can find the available position in each particular unit uh, just to let you know people whether or not you are fit into that unit right so just open the Google like that and write unit availability Oist PhD right so just click enter click on the first link availability of hosting PhD student in research unit so it may take two or three so it may just take two or three seconds so don't worry about that so this link I will share in description as well you may check there right so now you open a page like this so just start reading and follow me what I'm reading so this is the graduate school information about the availability of hosting PhD student in a research unit so this list will be updated annually or upon a request from faculty so the list which they shown up here right in the end of this page so this list they updated annually according to per year and upon the request of faculty member or the professor uh, if the professor say that they do not have any position in the unit then the always graduate school just write there is no any position and then after second point the academic year starts in september and ends in august so please not adjoint faculty. So in, in, in OIST, they are they are the different kind of professor. The first one is full professor, the second is associate professor, the third is um, the, uh, the adjoint professor. And the adjoint professor are not the full professor. They can't recruit any student for their full PhD. So if some student are get selected in, in a kind of unit where the faculty is the adjoint professor, so uh, they need a co-supervision of other professor to complete their PhD thesis as well, right? So students seeking this course of a supervision will still be required to secure primary supervision from the full-time faculty member. Yes, what I told you earlier, right? And then just scroll down. And here you can see, please note the below information is indicative only. For already enrolled PhD student, you are encouraged to contact the relevant professor to discuss the possibility of joining as, as soon as possible. But for the student who are wish to apply for OIS PhD program, they should need to um, check the availability of one year ahead. For example, if some student is applying for uh, the PhD in the year of 2024 as this year, so they need to also check the availability in the following year or or a one year ahead of the previous one right so you can see and just scroll down like this is a unit of abdul lagar and the unit name is the current phd student there is no any phd student and here this is the most informative part of this whole page the number of availability of hosting phd student so like for example uh, the application is running for the this year 2024 so if you want to apply for this unit you need to have a look on the next year as well right so like for example um, if some student has a biology background and they want to apply to any of the professor like the Philip Hasnick is 
is a kind of cell biology and symbiosis unit. So currently, uh, he has a five PhD student, and for the year of uh, 2023, they have two students, and for 2024, there is no any student. So for the year of 2025, they he will not recruit any student. So it's just a waste of time if you are applying to this unit where there is no availability in um, uh, in the present year or in the next year right so you just need to check where there is a available position in particular unit and make sure uh, sometimes it's possible that um, if you are just looking for only one position because you are not only the one candidate or you are not only the one student who are applying to that unit there are also many other students so Keep trying and narrow down your unit with, for example, if someone is interested in chemistry. So there are a lot of units in chemistry. So narrow down your interest with the unit and try to find out the maximum position in that particular unit. So your chances of selection is getting higher and higher. Like uh, she is a Paolo Lorino and she is a professor. Uh, protein energy engineering and evolution unit so biology background student can also apply to this unit so um, currently she has six phd student and she or even she will also recruit two student in 2024 and two student in 2025 so this makes sense right and like uh, you can see and scroll down like for example here marriage scene so i don't know he or she <laughs> So, uh, an adjoint professor, so if someone is interested in applying to this unit, uh, you first need to see whether or not he or she is adjoint and then you need to see the available position in academic year 2024 and 2025. So, first he, is a, he or she is a joint professor and then um, if someone is get recruited in, in a professor with, uh, who is an adjoint, so he or she is also need to have a co-op supervision of some other professor who is full, who is a full professor or associate professor, right? So like in this way, um, you can see the available position like here, light uh, matter interaction for quantum technological unit. So in this unit, mathematical student, physical background, they can also apply. So you can see here the four available position in this unit. 2024 and 2025 that's really a good number and you can scroll down and uh, see your interested unit so if you really don't know how i can find uh, the unit related to biology you can see my previous video because i already made a complete video on that about how you can find uh, one particular field and the related unit so just check check out that one first. like for example uh, this is Tanaka unit. So this is a membrane uh, memory research unit and he will recruit one student in 2024 but he will not recruit any student. So just make sure uh, when you are trying to apply to any unit in PhD. So just make sure uh, you should check the present year availability PhD student position and the next year. So I will not suggest you, you should apply to this unit because there is no availability in 2025. So because the PhD program is for five years, not just one or two years. So you just need keep in mind about these things as well. Because these are one of the reasons why students are not selected even though they have a very good profile. So like for example, if someone is, is, is it has a very good profile, but if there is no any position in that unit, how the professor will accommodate his him or uh, so it's very difficult so just try and not try to make the mistake like that because there is someone who who telling you again and again don't try to make these kind of mistakes so this is all about hope uh, this will be helpful if this video video is really helpful please make a big big try thumbs up and please subscribe my channel as well uh, that will make uh, get confidence in me so thank you so much